This video does not supersede any standard operating procedures that may be in place at your company. Consult with an expert when troubleshooting and to otherwise ensure that you are using the products and safeguards that are appropriate for you and the application at hand. If you would like more information after this video, please contact your Cooper Controls representative or visit www.coopercontrol.com. In this video, you will learn how to verify that your room controller is operational and also how to adjust the preset trim settings and daylight thresholds for optimal energy efficiency. Once the room controller components are installed, you are ready to verify the room controller operation. Apply power to the room controller and verify that the lighting loads turn on full bright for three seconds before they begin normal operation. For room controllers connected to occupancy sensors, Verify that the sensor has been properly located and is at least 4 to 6 feet from any air supply ducts. After a short 2-minute power-up period, for OAC and OAWC sensors, move dip switch 10 out of its current position for 3 seconds and then back to invoke test mode. If you have two sensors in your room, make sure both are in test mode. During test mode, the sensor will have a shorter 15-second time delay, and the LEDs will flash rapidly when motion is detected. Move around the controlled area, verifying that the occupancy sensor LEDs flash with each motion, and stop flashing when you stand still. If lighting is not already on, use the wall stations in the space to turn on all controlled lighting. For any stations with quiet time buttons, Make sure that quiet time mode is deactivated and that the quiet time LED is off. Leave the room and wait approximately one minute for the lighting to turn off. Occupancy sensor testing is now complete. The sensors will automatically exit test mode after a period of five to 10 minutes. Test each button on your wall station to verify it operates as described in the installation documents and controls the correct lighting loads and dimmer functions. Once wall station operation has been verified, if you are using 0 to 10 volt dimmable loads, for best operation and efficiency, set the appropriate trim level. Trim levels have been preset to approximately 90% maximum. Additional energy savings can be gained by adjusting this further if electric light contributed is over the target illuminance for the space. Trim level adjustments are done using adjustment dials on board the room controller. For best results, adjust the trim settings at night or during the day using shading to darken the space. Using the wall stations, turn on all controlled lighting. For fluorescent lighting loads, wait one minute to allow lamps to warm up. Using a small screwdriver, twist the maximum trim dial counterclockwise and then fully clockwise again. The lights will go full bright and the room controller will enter adjustment mode. Turn the dial counterclockwise in small increments until the light level is at the desired maximum. Next, turn the minimum trim dial clockwise and then fully counterclockwise. The light level in the room will go to full dim. Turn the dial clockwise in small increments until you begin to notice the light level increasing in the monitored space. Then, turn the dial slightly counterclockwise from where this change begins. Save the new trim settings and go back to normal operation by pressing the All Off button on any wall station. If All Off is not pressed, the controller will automatically save the settings after two minutes. If your room controller has a daylight sensor connected, the room controller will begin to operate from the sensor immediately after power up. Daylight levels can be adjusted using the handheld programming remote. The remote control contains zone level raise and lower buttons for zones 1, 2, and 3. To make basic adjustments to the daylight level, first ensure that daylight levels are being set during the day at a time when lighting should be dimming from daylight contribution. 
but not to the point where loads should be fully dimmed. Press any wall station's all off button and then turn lighting loads on again. After lighting has been turned on, look at the daylight sensor lens. If the lens has a green LED that's on steady, refer to your installation instructions for details on making advanced daylight level adjustments. If the LED is off, point the remote at the sensor lens and press the zone's raise or lower button until the lighting is adjusted to the desired level. The daylight sensor's green LED will start flashing rapidly. Repeat this process for each of the dimming zones that need adjustment. Once the daylight levels are correct, press the All Off button on any wall station. If All Off is not pressed, the controller will save the settings and exit commissioning mode after two minutes. Congratulations! Your room controller should now be fully functional from wall station, occupancy sensor, and daylight controls. If you have questions on additional accessories or connections that may be used with your room controller, refer to the resources available online at www.coopercontrol.com.